so hello everyone welcome to this session in this particular session we'll learn about the thread interruption how to interrupt a thread so you know about the weight method right you know about the weight method and slip method so weight method and slip method kind of methods will make a particular thread paused it will not be executing correct on that particular time if you call the interrupt method we have three versions of the interrupt method actually so if you call the interrupt method then what will happen it will break out the sleeping or waiting state yes and it will throw interrupted exception so we'll see that how these things can happen how can these things be achieved so we have three methods for that in java public void interrupt is the most widely used method in this regard we have the public static boolean interrupted it returns true or false in case of interruption and this also returns true or false and the method name is is interrupted we'll go through with all these particular programs with examples we'll not discuss much in theory we'll see this program how to see that an example uh, of interacting a thread that stops working we'll see that how interrupting will stop working over here it's a very simple program very kind and a very a small program see this particular program is here already so here we can see this this particular class test interrupting thread one is extending thread so it's liable for creating of a thread correct and it is having a run method that's why we have inter, uh, over loaded this over right in the uh, overridden the uh, run method here correct and in this run method inside the try block we are put try dot thread dot sleep so we are trying to make this thread sleep for thousand millisecond that is for one second and in the next line we are calling the task so this line will never execute it will never print task because here the particular thread is sleeping correct and if it if it it will throw interrupted exception then it will print thread interrupted e correct now and in the public static void mean we are creating an object of the class t1 and calling the start so here the thread will start and whenever the thread will start immediately it will execute go to the run and it will sleep for thousand second immediately whenever that will calling the interrupted method then what will happen it will interrupt the thread from the sleep it will awaken yes but what the example what the title i have given over here look properly it's a example of interrupting a thread that stops working it will stop working why it will stop working the example is provided it is we are propagating correct so it will stop working see in this example how you are propagating if you don't stop the thread then we can handle it using the sleep or wait method okay yes we can we can handle where the sleeper or, uh, or, or the wait method has been called so here in this example if we call it if we execute this then what will happen it will give this particular output what output it will give exception in thread thread zero java dot lang dot runtime exception yes and thread interrupted thread and java dot lang is being displayed here you see this what is displaying thread interrupted java dot lang dot interrupted exception is given and it is printed thread interrupted java dot lang dot interrupted exception sleep interrupted so these things are being printed sleep interrupted is being displayed over there correct that's what being given over here yes so this is what is happening due to this particular line when you are given the interrupted say thread interrupted is being printed and this line will be never get printed over there yes so we are propagating the exception in this particular example correct see this the output is thread interrupted is giving first then sleep interrupted may also give the output thread interrupted and the sleep interrupted will be coming over here so yes printing from here correct sorry uh, definitely it will not uh, come over here right yeah interrupt is not coming over here so here this line is not executed exception handle will never be executed is it it should not supposed to display exception yes it has not displaying the exception handle so it is creating over here start method is running it is printing into the sleep and and it is displaying from there now we'll see the opposite example it will not interrupt a thread i mean uh, it will uh, example of interrupting a thread that doesn't stop the working how it will not stop the working see the slight difference in the code and it will be very interesting for you thread 2 is the name same and thread 1 will make the thread 1 only
yes so you can see that we are creating a thread over here because that's why it is extending thread only correct now t1 dot start it will start and it will go to the run definitely yes and in between when it gets the sleep the task cannot be printed but the interrupted exception will be thrown when the interrupt will be called exception handle will be printed and thread is running will be printed in that case so see the when you will execute this particular program what is giving exception handle end will be displaying because interrupted exception has occurred so exception handled java dot lang dot interrupted exception sleep interrupted so who is interrupted the sleep this interrupt so here it's not propagating so it is it is going through with the proper flow yes thread that doesn't stop working so it is not stopping the working as you have seen thread is running is also displayed it is not stop the working correct why why this thing happened t1 dot start has make the thread slip yes because run method has been called automatically when you start a thread now as it is sleeping this task is not printed but in the next time interrupt it is called so it has gone out of the sleep so whenever it will go out of the sleep immediately the interrupt method will call interrupted exception will generate the interrupted exception so it will come to it will come to this catch block it will print what exception handled and this e will be printed yes what is the e the object so this object is having that name java dot lang dot interrupted exception sleep interrupted that will be the print uh, that will be what printed automatically and as it is uh, you know interrupted now remaining all the lines will be printed so thread thread is running is printed if you have the next line here all these lines will be executed for sure okay you do this thing your own and check it out how it happens now we'll see that interrupting thread that behaves normally when it happens when interrupting a thread will behave normally that is no effects will be there but there will be a single difference that is in case of in case of i mean when there is a time suppose when you are calling the interrupt method but the thread is neither sleeping nor waiting that is the the thread has not called the sleep method neither called the sleep method nor called the wait method so on that particular time what will happen it will call what it will call the thread to work normally it will not disturb the thread at all but it will set the is interrupted flag is equals to true there is something called a flag of interruption system defined inside is interrupted and it will be said is equals to true because it has tried to be interrupted it's a simple code you can see see here uh, it's a very simple code basically you can see that nothing will happen the program will be flowing as it flows see this now so this program is doing what it's calling a start correct and it is running simply see it's running simply for loop is running from i is equals to 1 to 5 so 1 to 5 will be printed there is no we are neither calling sleep nor we are calling wait but we are calling interrupt so this interrupt will not affect the program at all it will be given the normal flow 1 2 3 4 5 should be printed that's it yes if you call here the wait method or sleep method then that's a different thing that will be a different thing if you call here sleep method for 1000 second and refer to the current thread then that will be the different thing na t1 dot sleep if you may then that's a different thing yes then that will be a different thing why sorry then i have to keep this thing inside na sorry 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 i am doing fast i want to make my videos smaller sized in duration so see here in that case in that case what will happen what's happening Oh sorry you have to make the thread na class directly you have to call Yes now sleep will always generate interrupted exception okay so always put inside the interrupted exception exception only otherwise you can take exception uh, as as it is the base class so if you do like this then what will happen just a single time one is called then again interrupted exception called then 2 3 4 5 is getting called one by one yes whenever it has been executed so you can understand that the interrupt this interrupt method has make it execute again it has not stop in one otherwise if you don't call the inter interrupt then what will happen 
see i have not i have just uh, make that uh, this this particular line na interrupt into where into into this this particular have make into comment section that what will happen after each one second it will be keep on going on correct so one second each it is running for now if i make an interrupt then what will happen after one it will generate this exception for sure because always always this interrupt method will generate this error this this exception so this one will be executed yes at any chance it will be executed for sure if you call the interrupt method yes and better thing is that you don't if you don't write anything then interrupt will be having no effect in the program at all it will be just giving the simple 1 2 3 4 5 because anyhow it is not having any it is not calling sleep or wait yes similar thing you can see if you use the wait method over there what about the is interrupted and interrupted method then i told three methods now so one method i have explained another two method is the is interrupted and interrupted method so is interrupted method it will return the interrupted flag either true or false it's a system specific flag it is either true or false if you call the interrupted if you call the interrupt method then it will be the flag will be true or false and interrupted method this is a static method it will return the interrupted flag after it sets the flag to false if it is true see this look at this particular simple program and you can understand very easily see this program why this program is giving these two different flow and it's very easy to understand if you look at the code you can see that we have created two thread t1 and t2 of this particular class and it's possible because it is extending the thread class now we are starting t1 and t2 but we are not interrupting t2 we are just calling the interrupt method for t1 only then what will happen definitely for t1 for t1 thread when it will start it will go to the public void run yes now it will go to the for loop once now inside the for loop what will happen it will go from 1 2 but if it is interrupted then code for interrupted thread will be displayed yes yes and if it is not interrupted so t2 for the thread t2 code for normal thread will be displayed are you clear yes so it will be executed three times there code for normal thread for this for this particular it is displaying how much time it is displaying three time correct see this code for our interrupted thread is executing for single time and code for normal thread is executing for three times yes once the runs method is called you go to the else this condition will be satisfied got it so this is how this things works why because we are using some that method over here interrupted method over here the flags matter here okay interrupted method use you can see then yes similarly you can see any program with the is interrupted you just go through with is interrupted for t1 and you can see that it will set the flag to true and for t2 it will set the flag to false you have to do you have to write a simple program sim single line of code over here and you can check that is interrupted and uh, t for t1 and t2 how is interrupted method gives the different result so as explained about these two these three methods we are explaining about i have given the example of first two and i've just told the theoretical parts of the part, uh, third method so which you have to write down a particular code of yours and then you can put into the chat in our uh, comment section over there in the youtube videos comment section 
and if you have any doubt please ask me this particular thing if you have any doubt you can put into the chat box only and in this particular program uh, this particular pdf which has been used i'll put it into the description of the video if you have any doubt then you can open the pdf and check it out this this entire pdf and run these programs one by one then your entire concepts with uh, this particular concept will be clear so please uh, subscribe to my channel and watch and like my videos thank you thank you very much